Oh, what's going on everybody Z here and welcome to Dome Keeper. Now this is a game that I've seen a lot of, I've played none of, and I've been recommended a few times. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. Now, essentially what I know of this game is you're a Dome Keeper and you have to dig, mine, upgrade, and survive and protect your dome against these horrible evil waves of monsters. So it sounds cool, it sounds fun. Um, dome? Laser dome, keeper is engineer, gadget shield mode is relic hunt. Okay, so if I could, oh, laser dome or sword dome, not yet unlocked. So I don't have a, cho a choice there. Keeper, we have engineer, assessor, not yet unlocked. Okay, so we probably have to do so much uh, to start with. Gadget, shield repellent or orchard, interesting. And then mode, relic hunt or prestige. Okay, so we're just doing, uh, we're just gonna do the standard one for now. Let's go ahead and let's hop into this. So it looks kind of neat. Like look at these, uh, look at these little guys. They look super cool. All right, so let's go ahead and proceed. Um, let's go ahead and do normal. Still not easy, but more relaxed than other difficulties. Map size, small, oh. Win a run with the previous map size to unlock. Oh, we have to win? There's a win condition. Oh my gosh, I'm actually excited about this. I thought this was just gonna be like a, um, you go until you die kind of thing. All right, what do we got? <gasps> I'm excited. Also, if you guys are interested, leave a like down below, uh, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and the game is linked down below as well. So, <laughs> of course. All right, so is that our dome? Splat. And there's our dome, okay. Okay. This is cool. So what do we got going on here? Okay, so I can move around like this. Do I have like a clicky? I guess. Oh, we just kind of like go and hit the ground. Okay, and it gets harder and harder as we go. Now, does this mean that there's stuff possibly to the side here? I'm looking at the wall. I don't see anything. Okay, so we just kind of like, uh-oh. Well, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Oh, it's because it's solid. Okay, all right, so that means solid rock means we can't go down any further. Should I just go straight down maybe? <gasps> oh, we got something. How do I get all these? Oh, we got to pull them back up. Okay. Carry resources to slow you down. Hit Q to drop one. Hold to drop many. Okay. So it looks like four is like our magical number here. So it's like a little bit of, we got some mining action going on here. Okay. So what do we do with these now? <gasps> oh, they go into a grinder deal and then they get slurped up into, I don't know what. All right, let's go get some more. <laughs> this is cool. Now I'm curious to see like how we upgrade this and uh, how, how that kind of stuff goes. So space bar grabs all of them. Okay, let's grab all four and let's bring those back up. Your dome is under attack. Move to the station and hit to enter it and then hit A to enter battle mode. Oh shoot. Okay, so enter. Uh, that's not working. Okay, hit space bar and then it hit A. Wait, right here? Oh. Okay. Holy moly. Um, is there a way to Okay, so if I exit, can I repair this? Uh oh. Is there even a repair option? Battle upgrades. Okay, so what's upgrades? Oh my gosh. Okay. Health capacity. And then what is this? Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of things. So we've got laser dome, standard mining dome equipped with a precision laser. So I'm guessing we've already got these unlocked, this unlocked, and then we probably have to go through and unlock these. And then here's our engineer. There's our actual laser. And then our shield, install a shield that will absorb some, inner, some damage, recharges automatically. So I feel like that's good, but do we already have that? We already have that, okay. And we have eight in our inventory, so we could do overcharge shield, overcharge strength, zero to 40. Use water to manually overcharge your shield so it absorbs more damage the next wave. I feel like, 
hostile proximity displays the time until the next. oh see that seems a huge okay so we need that adaptive wave warner the wave meter will signal when it's time to head back to the dome because a wave is about to arrive it is adaptive and will improve its accuracy over time um health capacity let's get that let's get this exit route when the wave warning rings it will also show you the shortest path back to your dome i feel like that's pretty good but maybe we need to okay that's good enough for now i keep hitting escape i need to quit that um all right so q to close q to leave okay so i guess maybe there's no way to repair your dome like you just we gotta be careful oh, what's this there's like some grass or something like that okay Oh, we're breaking into like a new terrain type. All right, maybe I should maybe I should focus on this area for a little bit. <laughs> Wonder if there's any kind of scanner or anything like to maybe like direct you to, uh, you know, oh hey, there might be resources over in this area kind of thing. Oh, there's a little dude down here. There was like a little guy down there. That's super cool. Oh, what's this? What is this? Is this a map? What does that do? I have no idea what that is. It's some kind of... Oh, is this the relic? Because we were doing like a relic search thing. Uh-oh. It's fighting time. Okay, here we go. Uh, pick a gadget. Uh, prospecting a meteor. Or a meter. A meter showing the distance to the nearest resource. Auto cannon. Install a powerful automatic cannon on your dome that uh, does heavy damage to monsters. Or shred to cobalt shred the gadget and gain two cobalt Ooh, i feel like the prospecting meter would be nice but i also feel like the auto cannon would be nice let's do the uh, let's do the prospecting meter because i feel like that's going to give us the ability to upgrade more faster um okay oh i keep hitting the wrong buttons here uh battle all right come on fry him let's go all right, we're good. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So we have a meter now. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, I like the meter. Okay, the meter's worth it. I think the meter was worth it. All right, then now there was some purple stuff down here. Let's go see what this purple stuff was. Like, what is this? So that doesn't show up as a resource. Oh, it's only showing me the um, the basic resource. It's not actually showing me all resources. Okay, I mean, that's, you know what? That's still handy, though. All right, we have a little bit of time left. Let's go ahead and see if we can find something else here. Nothing here. There was something like a little bit down here. All right, it's time to go back. We got to fight these guys. I want to make sure I'm back and ready to go. All right, here we go. Battle. Where are you coming from? Over here? Okay. I melt you with my laser. Aha, blind your eyeballs with my laser beam. Okay. Um, uh, we're good. Let's exit and let's exit. Let's see. I want to get some more stuff right now. Everything's like it's it's okay. You know, we're not we're not dying super fast here let's See is it this way? Maybe this way Oh, we left it. <gasps> oh, there it is Ooh, a bunch of goodies. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't have all five. We can bring four back. All right, let's run and grab that other one real quick. <laughs> all 
All right, so we're about to have a fight. Do we want to upgrades? Okay, hold on. Let's look at upgrades here. So what do we have? What is this? It plays the current amount of stored resources. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. We have three of those. However, I feel like... I feel like maybe we should upgrade our drill. What is this? Top speed. Carry slowdown. And then this is what? Our laser. So this increases our damage. Improves the power of your laser, but it will move slower while firing. The laser moves faster. Additional targeting. Sights to the laser showing where it's aiming. I mean, it's a laser beam, right? It shoots directly forward, so we should be okay. Maybe we want to increase damage. Increases how much damage the dome can take. Electro blast. Taking our trigger and an active combat ability. Creates a deadly feel around your dome for a short duration. Uses per battle one. Oh, here's the um, here's the prospecting. Um, oh, that's water. Okay, so water meter displays the distance to the nearest water deposits. Cobalt is a triangular looking deal. And then increasing the range. Okay, so these would be handy. But for survivability, we need to be able to survive longer. So let's see. Let's get the um let's get that. And then let's get the drill strength so we can drill faster. And then we'll call that good. And then we'll go ahead and fight. Alright, so we've got a laser upgrade. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, come on, quick, 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 quick to the other side. Okay, fried and fried, okay. All right, let's go see if we can find some more stuff now. We do have a faster drill, so you know, we never know. Maybe we'll find something good. Actually, let's go this way. Anything down here yet? Oh, we're super close. Yeah, there's some right there, ha ha. It might be nice to fly faster. <laughs> that, that might be a nice upgrade to have. Let's get this deposit right here. Of course, I can only grab four. That's all right. We'll take this up and then we'll see. Uh, you know, I'm kind of curious about that. I'm curious about that auto firing, the auto gun, the auto turret thing. Because if we didn't actually have to be there for the, the battles. And we could like the, let the, just the dome take over and we could just focus on upgrades. That would be kind of neat. Oh, snap. Oh. Oh, these guys do a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. To find some cobalt, you can repair your dome with it. Try to find some cobalt, you can repair your dome. It's rare and finite. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to... Let me just try to finite the find the rare finite resource to repair my dome with. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's some right there. <laughs> okay, so this will allow me to repair my drone... My, my dome, maybe? Does it automatically repair? You can use your cobalt to repair your dome. It's an upgrade in the dome tech tree. Okay, so let's go to upgrades. Um, repair dome damage to your dome with cobalt. That sounds pretty good. Let's go and get that. Oh, do I just? What is this? Harden the dome surface to take less damage from uh, monsters melee hits. Projectile damage is unaffected. So do I keep using this to do it again? Oh, okay. So I don't need any more because a repair of total health is 15. So I think we're okay right now. Okay. Do we have a, we don't have anything coming yet. So let's go ahead and pop out of here. See, we can't find something else. I almost feel like we should just take like this whole level out right here. 
start at the top or work our way down, you know? There's definitely like an edge. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the new terrain type, isn't it? All right, it's time to go back. <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of little guys. We're popping them like popcorn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, this thing is so slow. All right, we did it. We survived. <laughs> this is cool. All right, I wanted to get some like serious upgrades in here and like see what we can do. All right, we got three more little cubicle deal dudes. I'll throw these up there. Oh, there's more cobalt. So I don't feel like we definitely need this right now, so we can just leave it in storage and we'll just use it later. I want another upgrade. <laughs> I want more upgrades. Okay, so let's see what we can do here as far as upgrades. Uh, let's look at our laser. So we have move faster. That requires six. It shows us where it's going. That's going to, that increases damage. We actually can afford that right now too. But I feel like speed is probably our biggest issue right now. Let's go ahead and get that. Increase how much damage the dome, dome shield can absorb. Do we even have a shield right now? I feel like we have like no shield right now. I think this electro blast might be pretty good too. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get this upgrade and then let's try to get this one. Let's get the, um, oh, actually let's get the cobalt one. No, cause if we get water, then we can use the water to find more water. Let's do this one. And then we can use that to find water. And then we'll try to get this one. And then we'll get this one. Cause this actually shows us to the next, um, the nearest gadget or relic switch chamber. Oh, it's a switch chamber. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I feel like we're much faster now. This is nice. All right. What do we got? Got some boys over here. We got more popcorns. All of the popcorns or the bubble wraps. Oh, more popcorns. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Rolling out. <laughs> we got to find all the stuff. Okay, so we got some more of these golden things. You know, I didn't actually see what the... Um, I don't know what these this resource actually is. <laughs> Go golden squares. <laughs> yes, we didn't want golden squares. <laughs> we need more water, too. Because then if we get more water, we can get more upgrades. We can find more materials. Because, I mean, the more materials find, the more upgrades we get, right? Uh, you know what? I don't really have time to go back. And I don't think I have enough upgrades. Four and two. No, we don't have enough for that. I keep hitting escape. I need to quit that. Oh my gosh. So many popcorns. Die, little popcorns. <laughs> Always aim for the eyeballs. Especially with the laser, you know? Just not in real life. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting close to some water here. Let's see if we're getting closer to going down. Oh, yes, we are. There it is. All right, so let's grab this. We should be able to get an upgrade now. Because I'd like to be able to find the relics. And I want to see how that works. If we get like, can we combine relics or is it because it, it kind of sounds like a switch relic switch chamber. So like maybe we have to choose like one, which is kind of a bummer, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, so let's go in here. Let's go into upgrades. And then let's go down. And I want this chamber meter. Shows just their uh, distance to the nearest gadget or relic switch chamber. So let's get that. And then I feel like my suit could use an upgrade as well. Um, let's see. Is this improve the jetpack to move faster? That's our top speed, but there's the weight speed. Improve the jetpack to carry more resources. Um, gosh, I kind of want both of those to be honest, but 
being able to move faster would be nice but being able to carry more would be nice let's move faster to search faster let's do that okay and then let's go ahead and prepare for battle more popcorns maybe more flying things hopefully not <laughs> so i wonder what the wind condition here is <laughs> like do we just be the, the entire planet gets taken over by one uh immovable dome Okay, I like to take out the flying guys first because those guys do a lot of damage. All right, let's see if we can go find a relic. Oh, we're faster now. Oh my gosh. Okay, relic chamber. Let's see. I'm going to go all the way down here. Did we get anywhere close yet? I haven't gotten close yet. I'm going to keep going down. We're close to water. Oh, we're hitting another... Looks like there might be water right over here. Hey, okay, so there's some water. Oh, we're close to a relic chamber. Hold on, let's keep going this way, maybe. Oh, we're getting close. Yes. All right. Let's take this guy. We're going to bring this uh, golden nugget with us too. Oh, what are we going to get? Okay, so I'm curious how this works. Do we get a, do we get multiple upgrades or do we just get a switch upgrades? I'm hoping we get multiples because I feel like it'd be kind of cool to have like multiple things. And like if there was an auto cannon one, I thought there was an auto cannon one last time. Pro oh, hold on a second. Probe adds a probe to your suit, which when triggered sends out a pulse that reveals nearby resources. Must be recharged at the station under the dome. Slot cellar spire defensive spire that shoots down incoming projectiles. Ooh, I feel like the spire. Let's go with the spire. Oh, all right. So we have a spire that shoots down incoming projectiles. Oh, it does have a charge on it though. Okay, good to know. Goodbye, popcorns. Oh, more popcorns. Lots of popcorns. Okay, shoot down that projectile. No! Okay, hold on, let's take out these popcorns real quick. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, snap. These guys do a lot of damage. Bad popcorns. Bad popcorns. Okay, wow. Um, the spire's cool. <laughs> we need more. We need more stuff, though. We need more upgrades for sure. You know what? I think I maybe I need to look around this top area a little bit more and get what we can from here. All right, we got some gold and stuff. Yep, perfect. All right, come on, little nugget. Let's go. The last one, we got to hurry because we're about to get in a fight. All right, we're good. I wonder if there's a way to get multiple, like, weapons, you know? Like, where we can have, mul instead of just one uh, laser, we can have, like, multiple things. Because it's definitely hard to uh, to take out everything with like one laser pointing one direction. All right, we got a flying guy. We got this guy. Stop it! All right, let's look at. Uh, we'll see what upgrades we have here. Okay, so we got the laser dome. Cycle counter install a counter that shows how many waves you've survived. See, that's just a that's a nicety The dome will automatically repair itself. It's about if it's about to be destroyed and has enough cobalt to repair Permanently increases structure health from oh wow, that would be nice Oh, that'd be nice too. Uh, permanently increased structure health from 800 to 1100. Have we gotten close to destroying it? Not yet. Hardening one melee damage reduction zero and fifteen percent. Okay, so that would that would decrease the damage that the um the guys beating on the dome do. 
And then let's see. So here's our laser. Oh, double laser. <laughs> oh, and then dissolve projectiles. Oh, oh, I really want that. I want the double laser. Oh, there's a swivel head laser. Installs a swivel head on the laser that automatically corrects your aim if it comes close. So it'll automatically like aim in. Oh, that's kind of cool. I want all of these. See, the thing is like we need to get as many of these gold things as quick as possible. Oh, slow down. You know what? Let's get the slow down thing. Let's start with that. And then let's see if we can. Um, let's see if we can go get more. Cause we can, we can go faster now. So like if we can get, if we can move faster, maybe we can get more resources quicker. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh my gosh. There's so much here. Can I carry five now or six? Oh my gosh. I've got six now. Oh, I've got six and I'm going faster than I ever was before. Oh <gasps> yes. Okay. We can take these up. We can come back for the rest of them. I want that double laser so bad. <laughs> Double lasers. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, also, oh, it looks like our shield came back a little bit. All right, let's go be quick. I think we have time. You know, I'm only going to take four right now, just so we can get back up there quicker. All right, it's battle time. Let's do this. Oh, I really want the double laser. Oh, I hate these guys. All right, popcorn. More popcorn over here. I feel like the popcorns do a lot of damage. I feel like these guys do a lot of damage though too. Oh snap. Um, okay, we might need to heal up here. Yeah, okay, so that looks good. Oh, let's see. We need more health. Um, I have enough for this laser upgrade here. Let's go ahead and get that. I want to get this one right here. I want to get the 24. Okay, let's go. Let's go see if we can find 24 of these uh, nuggets. You know what? I'm going to grab... Should I grab these two waters too? Okay, I have seven. And we can still move. Uh, we're a little slow, but we'll be okay. One trip with all these, and then we'll try to go find some more. So we've got, um, what is that? Five more of the golden nuggets deal. <laughs> we, we only need 19 more after that. <laughs> oh, there's some more cobalt. That's handy. There's some more water. Oh, we got some more golden nuggies. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. It just keeps going. All right, we got to go. Oh, shoot. We got to go like right now. No, we're going to get attacked. We're not even there. Drop another one to go faster. Oh, the popcorns are coming to attack. Oh, we have a new upgrade too. That's right, we got the bigger laser. All right. Oh, I have to just hit this guy just a little bit. There we go. Okay, popcorn. Go. Oh, look at that. They're getting fried before they can even jump on us. Oh, come on. Stop it. All right. We survived. All right. Let's go. We got to get the double laser. I probably honestly should focus on like shields and upgrades and stuff like that. But <laughs> double laser is what we want. So we got some more. Uh, we got some more cobalt. I probably should go ahead and fix the dome up a little. Eh, I think we're okay. All right. Let's see how many we're at. Let's let this stuff process real quick. 
kind of get an idea what we're at here. 16. Okay, so we're getting close. Um, double lasers. <laughs> double lasers. Now, I wonder if I can get double lasers and like everything else too. Uh, that would be super nice. So double lasers is what I want to go for next. And then what do we have here? Uh, depletion boost. Deadly blast increases the damage and stun effect of the electro blast. See the electro blast. I think that's something we probably should get to because it says we can use one per battle. Uh, that would be pretty handy. And if that's just something like additional that we can use per battle without having to cost us anything, that's a, that's a good upgrade to have. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and let's wait for a battle. We'll do this and then hopefully maybe we can find the rest of the gold stuff in the next one and then get double lasers. Oh, we got some fly. Oh, there's a big flying dude. Holy moly. All right. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the popcorns before they start jumping. Oh, okay, we did it. Let's get out of here. Let's go find some more gold stuff and let's see if we can get the double lasers. You know, I'm going to go in here. I feel like there might be something. This is a big area right here that doesn't have anything in it. Maybe. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Okay. Um, let's keep working. Should I start keep working down? That's really hard ground. Maybe we keep working this way. Close to water. Oh, close to uh, gold nuggets. Up or down? Down. <gasps> gold nuggets. All right, we need a bunch. Oh, there's a bunch here. All right, I think we are good. I think with these, we can probably get our double laser upgrade. Which will be just in time for our wave. <gasps> yes. All right. There's all those. Let's see. Upgrades. Laser dome. One. Really? Oh, we're short by two. Okay. We're short by two. Next one. Oh, another big dude. Oh, two big dudes. Wow, those guys take a lot to take down. Popcorns. All right, that was it. All right, let's get out of here. We got to go grab that. We're going to go get those upgrades right now. And then we're probably going to go ahead and heal up. Um, and then maybe I should focus on maybe some uh, some shield upgrades here. Might not be a bad idea. All right, so there's those. Let's go ahead and get our double laser. Heck yes. Okay, so now let's look at shields. So what do we have? So we have strength. How much damage does the shield can absorb? Strength, electro blast, and overcharge. Overcharge strength. Use water to mainly overcharge your shield so it absorbs more damage in the next wave. Strength two. Do we have anything that like repairs over time? So it looks like we just have shield strengths. So that's shield strength. Oh, we also have, oh, I didn't even realize we have, um, sustained fire brings the recharge time down to near zero, enabling a very steady fire pace fires and short bursts dealing well with salvos autonomy. A simple AI will control the spire. Even when you are not inside the control station. <gasps> Ooh, that would be nice. But oh, I feel like one of these, Okay, so burst fire or sustained fire. Now, I know the damage is probably going to go down with sustained fire. I feel like we could probably upgrade that, right? And then capacity, increase the shots. You can be fired before the recharge is necessary. Projectile split. Hit projectile split into multiple ones, dealing damage to enemies. Okay, so I like the AI for sure. That's like a huge win. 
So we do have an automatic repair. The, dorm, the, the dome will automatically repair itself. It's about to be destroyed, but it has enough cobalt to repair. That's kind of a big upgrade. Um, so maybe let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's get the um, let's get the spire to be AI. So it'll it'll go automatically regardless if we're there or not. That's I think that's a good one. And then I'm actually thinking this salvo, this burst fire shots before recharge one to three recharge time. Now this takes recharge time. Now I'm guessing this means we can only pick one or the other. This turns it down to almost near no recharge, but this does a salvo of recharge. I just feel like this is going to do more damage. I don't know. This one sounds better. Like having a steady fire pace sounds better. It's more of a, more of a constant shot rather than a boom, boom, boom. But this would be better with salvos. Um, you know what though? We don't normally have a constant thing though. I think this is the one we'll go with. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's get out of here. And then I guess let's go ahead and hop out of here and let's go see if we can find any more goodies. <gasps> what is this? Oh, we found some kind of weird relic gadget thingy. Okay, let's take this up, see what happens. This looks completely different than what the uh, what we've seen elsewhere. What does it do? Uh, hello? Maybe I can't do anything with this yet. Oh, it's a bomb! Oh, it's a bomb! Okay, well, just let it do its thing. We got to fight. Oh, they go in opposite directions. So we only have to move half. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. This is even better than what I thought it was. I thought they were going to be controlled to similar together. <gasps> we only have to move half the distance now. Oh, snap. That was an amazing upgrade okay so that thing was like a bomb area like, like a bomb deal now i don't know where it went oh did it go off right here oh it must have went off right here <gasps> it did it went all the way to the bottom holy moly Okay, there's there's something here. All right, let's see if we can find this gold nuggies. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Some wonderful gold nuggies. So that went all the way to the bottom. That's crazy cool. Holy moly, this is a huge deposit. All right, we're going we're gonna to get back up here. Um, okay. We got to be quick. I am so excited that those lasers move in opposite directions. That was like the best upgrade. That was such a better upgrade than I could have even anticipated. Um, okay, so we're looking actually pretty decent here. So let's go ahead. Whew, let's go grab all these goodies down here. Okay, so we got some, let's see if we can get some upgrades here. So we were looking at the Spire. I feel like the Salva was the one that we wanted to get. And that's three and three. So we can afford that. I feel like that's going to help us more than anything. Because they usually come in like Salva. So it'd be nice if like, they could shoot like a couple and then recharge. But then we could always decrease the, um, uh, increase the capacity and decrease the recharge time as well. Oh, this only goes for this one, though. Maybe this would just be better. You know, we're going to get the steady one. And then let's see. What else do we have as far as lasers? There is another laser damage upgrade. Um, we can't do. Oh, we can move faster. Laser moves even faster. And then there's that one that gives us the little bit of uh, angular adjustment. I don't feel like we need it faster right now, though. 
I feel like the um the the air salvos do more damage than anything. A uh, hit projectile split into multiple small ones, dealing damage to enemies. The amount of split projectiles depends on the potency of the incoming projectile. That's kind of cool. But decreasing the time. Why does this have a nine right there? That's really weird. Why is that nine? Oh, energy trap. Shooting down a projectile generates an energy trap that will catch more projectiles depending on uh, how much it can capture depends on the potency of the incoming projectile. So even if it catches one, another one right behind it could be captured by that. That's pretty cool. But then this, this the ability to do damage to enemies, that's like a whole nother damage output. We're going to do that. And then um, we're going to do this one to improved cooling. All right, and then we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> you know what? Do I do I need to do any upgrades here? How many do I have? I have five. Let's go ahead and do one uh, repair, and then what is this? Permanently increase the structure health. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's focus on some health a little bit here, and then this automatic repair. Once we get a water, we'll go ahead and do that one. So that way, if uh, you know, in the event that our dome is about to blow up, it will uh, repair itself. Okay, so let's let's try this. Let's see how this battle goes this time. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. I wanna see what the um the tower does now. Alright, here we go. Let's see what this tower does now. Okay, so we're slowing these guys down pretty good. Oh my gosh. That guy takes a lot of damage. See that guy shoots electricity, so that doesn't really help as far as uh Oh, well, I guess that's it. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go find some upgrades. <laughs> oh, there's a relic over here. There's a relic somewhere, and there's also gold here. Uh, the This ground is super hard, though. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we're getting closer to the relic. It's got to be like right here somewhere. <gasps> yes. Okay, we got a relic. What did that do? What did that do? I have no idea what that did. All right, let's grab these. We got to head back up now. What did that relic do? Uh, there's nothing I could grab out of it, so. Did it do anything up here? Oh my gosh, these big guys are like crazy. Oh, they do so much damage. I don't know what that... I want to know what that th what that thing did. I have no idea what it did. Um. Okay, do we have the stuff for this? The Electro Blast? We don't have the stuff for the Electro Blast. We need to get the stuff for that too. Um. So we need to find some water. And yeah, we got to get more stuff. See, I have no idea what this thing is right here. It actually looks like I'm getting further away from it. Oh. I don't actually know what it's doing. I actually, it looks like I need to go up for the... I don't know. Because, like, it's still showing that there's a relic up here. And normally when you find it, it goes away. So I guess that doesn't count as the relic or the gadget. No. See, now it looks like I'm really close to it. Oh, yeah, there's another one. What? 
What the heck? I'm honestly not sure what to do here. All right, we better head back up. I don't know what the deal is with that. So it's like some kind of puzzle. Like we have to find multiples of them or something, maybe? Oh, we got another one of these big guys. He does so much damage. All right, I want to see. I want to figure out what this thing is, but like, I I really need to get those upgrades in too. I wish I could move faster so I could get down there and see what's going on more, but. It's like, what is the deal here? Oh, there's like another thing right here, it looks like. It's almost like I'm supposed to follow like the where it's pointing to. Oh, there's some cobalt. That's handy. <gasps> what is this? Uh, this might be some huge thing. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is the Omega one. Is this like the end of the game? Is this what you're supposed to do? Is this like what you're trying to... You're here to find this thing, maybe? All we have to do is do these last two and we'll see what happens here. Okay, we're doing something. We did it. Gifts from the past. Okay. What does this do? Not the slightest idea what this does, but we're going to take it to the thing. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on. Whoops. Okay, it did something. I don't know what it did though. Oh, what the heck is that? What the heck? Why did this get so much harder all of a sudden? What just happened? Oh, your dome was saved. Wave survived. Monsters killed. Monsters destroyed. Map size small. Difficulty normal. New map size unlocked. New world unlocked. Unlock a new element. <gasps> oh, so, okay. So, like, we had to get that thing and then, like, a super intense wave came and then that thing saved us. Um, so, a powerful dome with a dynamic sword that keepers can master to dominate attackers. An unconventional miner who employs experimental gravity technology. Score points by sending home as many resources as possible before your dome falls. Um, I want the assessor. That sounds cool. I like the lasers right now. Let's get this guy. That was cool. Master of gravity. So now we can change and we can have this guy. That is super. Oh yeah. Relic hunt. Find the relic buried deep and bring it back to your dome. That's like what we were doing. Okay. 
So we did the things, we did the stuff. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Dome Keeper. This is really exciting. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on the video. If you want to see another one, make sure you subscribe and let me know. Leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, super exciting stuff. But have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.